Anything that you've noticed uh, reoccurring with some of your clients or any of your own client questions that you've had to answer? I think like almost always the reoccurring like topic is just like how to stay consistent when your life's not consistent. That that's one of the uh, the questions here. Do you have any tips for like habit adherence? Because yeah, like just like you said, for a lot of people, you know, we've. I was going to pitch it to you like this. We've had conversations about, hey, don't get derailed. You know, try to stay consistent. Once you fall off, like try to hop back on. And all those things are true. Right. But um, my question for you, tying it all together, is I don't know if you've been using like a different story or like a different way that you've been trying to like reassure people. And I don't know if I'm quite there yet, as like far as like coaching it like perfectly or co like coaching it right. Like there's always like ways to change. Like I just finished up uh, that James Clear book, uh, Atomic Habits. I think like one thing that he 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 had, he had some several good points, but the one thing that I took away from the whole book was like. And I guess it's like the point of the book, like in a whole is like, don't be afraid to like make a habit, like itty, itty bitty. John, say, for example, like you want to run a marathon, like mm -hmm. heaven forbid, but like, <laughs> exactly. like, 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 let's say you want to go run a marathon. You don't just decide like, I'm gonna go out and run 26 miles like today. That's, that's not how, like, that's just not how it works. Like you, you do that one time, you'd be destroyed. You never run again, like the rest of your life. Like, so James, like he puts it like all the way down to like a simple fact of like, why don't you why, like, why is your habit not like just putting on your running shoes? Mm. Like you have like all, like, let's just say you go run in the morning. So like you have a morning routine, you wake up, you like check your phone, you go to the bathroom, you brush your teeth, you put in your contacts. Like you have this morning routine. That's like always there. Like, why not just insert into that morning routine, put on my running shoes. Eventually it gets to the point that that becomes a habit. And once the habit happens, the habit that you want to accomplish follows up. I think it's really hard to think like, oh, I want to lose a hundred pounds. And it's like, well, how does, how does that happen? It's such a broad and big goal. Like it just sounds impossible when you say it in your head, like I want to lose a hundred pounds. It won't happen tomorrow though. Like, and, and figuring out that until you can embrace the process of it. And so I think that's what James was getting to is like mm -hmm. the process of, of, of basically stacking these habits until it becomes like what you want it to become is what you need to focus on is that process and what it takes to get there. And so, you know, like it starts without like those small things that you can change every day until you have like so many small things, it becomes like a really, really big thing. Um, and eventually like all of a sudden you're like, Oh wow, I'm well on my way to like getting to that goal. And it's all these like small things that weren't really inherently that hard, but they, they just took some mindfulness. They took some like time to think about and like, okay, well I can do this when I get home. Like when I get home, <clears throat> I go for a 15 minute walk or after I, like after I get done with dinner, I clean, I clean up my space from eating and I go for a 15 minute walk. Like you have these steps that lead you in the right direction versus just like, I want to, I'm going to go for a walk when I get home. Okay. Well that like you might get home and have something else to do. If you're not deliberate in like setting it, like setting it in place, I think it becomes harder because it becomes easy to like slide something else in there. Like, Oh, well, I'm just gonna check my email real quick. And you get home and the email's got something you got to handle or, Oh, I'm just going to like do something with the kids or, Oh, I'm just going to do like those O's stack up so much that the good habits you want eventually fades phases out. To where you know like like new year's resolution people they don't like set themselves up for for success because they just like have a huge goal like i'm gonna work out every single day this year yeah and they go from like not doing anything it's like okay well that doesn't describe how you're gonna work out when you're gonna work out where you're gonna work out how it's gonna happen where the space is like they don't set any of those things up so they're just like okay i'm gonna i'll go after work well what about the days after work where you have a work party or you have a dinner obligation or you have these like what are your steps to make sure that habit continues even in the face of inconsistent life and inconsistent life um really is just life you know well, uh, ab absolutely 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 yeah yeah because yeah. uh, I, I like that term that you're talking about people usually get a bad setup going but uh with me and my clients specifically over here it's uh too much adherence to like a a, a black and white pass and fail and it's like, you know, we're, we're conditioned because so many years of like academics, you know, like you pass or fail the test and mm -hmm. that like, that's it. But I think you've seen like the graph of like what true progress looks like, you know, because a lot of people think it's like a straight line. 
but right. then it's like all these squiggles and turns and downturns or whatever. And so I've been trying to tell people it's like sometimes you're like way too zoomed in. So like when you're zoomed in, like you see this like big hurdle or like I fell off, like I I made this boo boo, I ate too much here, like I I didn't go to the gym, like I said, blah 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 blah. If you zoom out and then like you look at things, you know, like the average, uh, think about like weighing on the scale, you know, like if you just like go off like one reading where the scale is like higher and you don't take into account the average, you don't take into account the factors. Like I always tell people sodium, sleep, stress, like how late your last meal was. I was talking with somebody and they're like, oh, you're supposed to weigh yourself the same time every day. And it's like, well, you don't have to like weigh yourself the exact same time, but like if you're just right. like, oh, after lunch, oh, right, after dinner right, this right. other day, whole, yeah. like uh, the the reading that you get, it, it, it's a number, like quote unquote numbers don't lie, I, I guess, but um, yeah. th there's context to be had here. Mm -hmm. It sounds common sense to us, but we we've done this for a living and we've done it for a long time. And if you're just explaining to people, like, hey, as soon as you eat something, your body changes for that day until you kind of go like for a long enough period of time. And if you ate something like right before bed and you wake up like just four or five hours later, you don't get a lot of sleep. Yep. That food's still like, you're still like dealing versus like, say you're like a, you know, a, a breakfast, lunch, dinner person. Your last meal was like at seven and mm -hmm. you slept for, you know, you didn't go to bed till, till nine or 10. And then you woke up at seven the next morning. It's like, that's 12 hours. Like since the last eight, like your eating will be different than like, the four hour different, like, and same thing, like, like you just said, like if you had a whole bunch of, to drink or a whole bunch to eat and then you hop on the scale, like the reading's going to be different because you have more content in your body. Like now, like it's just going to be that way. And, and once you explain to people, they're like, Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's a, the, this scale is reading what my body weighs content wise today. That new content up or down is not necessarily fat or muscle or stuff like that, that, that is like, it, it's stuff that fluctuates all the time. And yeah, hopefully we're losing fat, but don't take the day's spike up as like, oh, I gained a pound of fat yesterday because I overate. And right. it's like, just like you said, man, it's like, no, it's an average of things. And over time, you're going to see your line trending in the right direction. And if it's trending in the right direction, everything you're doing is correct. Don't change a thing. And if it's not, then just have a conversation with yourself. Say, am I following the things I've set in place to be successful? And if I am, then there needs to be something to be adjusted. If I've been like way more inconsistent than consistent, then I just need to work on being more consistent this next 30 days or so. And once you achieve that, like at some point, if you're, if you are willing to, to work at it at some point, you will see results.